There's a strong connection between episode 2 and 6 of Trigun Stampede as Minoru Yamaoka is the episode director and storyboarder for both. Yamaoka, as mentioned in the episode 2 review, with his Terran Resonance episode 3 storyboard and direction, excels in using liminal spaces. An example in this episode is Wolfwood's flashback with Levio, which is treated as a space between a terrible past and a terrible present, untouched by the unpolished, vibrant nature of Youth. Yamaoka ties both of these episodes narratively to evoke a sense of connection and closeness between Wolfwood and Levio and a potential initial relationship between Vash and Knives. The green sign where Wolfwood sits down at the end of episode 4 contrasts really strongly with the red letter for the Child of Blessing in this episode, showing that the goodness in Wolfwood is still there, just painted red over time. And we actually got a really nice callback to a previous episode which was titled A Child of Blessing. Now we know that that is definitely for Wolfwood and not for Rolo. I love that the little animals that we had in this flashback is a callback to episode 2 when Vash uses the bird as a scapegoat to try to get out of Genora. The red is an indicator of the goodness in Vash compared to the red of the letter. The pink smoke from this episode reminded me of the pink lollipop that Wolfwood gave Zazi in episode 4. Even though both are uh, technically considered enemies of Vash, the innocence and the act of kindness still remain. Not to mention, the sound design of the flashback is stellar. Stampede has established a pattern of using radio sounds in almost every episode, and we definitely got it here, but in this flashback, everything is stripped away, leaving only those sounds created by the two boys in their own little world. The difference in direction is evident, as the visuals for the experiment vary drastically between Rolos from last episode and Wolfwood's. Wolfwood's visuals have a psychedelic effect that pairs perfectly with the introduction of Neon Brilliant Dynamite, who was first shown as a bounty poster on the wall of the bar in episode 2. It's interesting how the sand ship is powered by the most advanced plant, or so they claim. This implies two things potentially. There is a hierarchy of plants, that it's not just dying plants versus working plans that we've seen so far, or the radio slash news claims Knives is stupid for collecting dying plants. There are a lot of discrepancies, and I wonder if this radio system is tied to the work that De Niro and Merrill are in, because it leads to show that normally people will half finish the job just to write something, and that leads to misinformation, while Merrill and De Niro are sticking around, much to De Niro's <laughs> apprehension. So I'm curious how everything will be explained in the second half of the season. There hasn't been any announcement from Studio Orange like last time, so it makes it seem that Act 3 hasn't begun yet, but that's understandable because we're actually ended on a proper cliffhanger. This creator, Shunpei Ishida, posted on Twitter about working on the CG part with Levio and Vash fight, which is cool because it's been really hard to figure out who did what parts of the action, which is why I opt for the storyboarder and episode director instead. It looks like the 2D animation that we saw with the flashback for this episode was done by the people over by Hyperbole, under the names of Rina Mitsuzumi and Kaori Onishi, from this tweet that came out yesterday. And uh, they've had a bunch of credits, but the one where they've worked together for sure was with the ED for Attack on Titan final season. That's all for this episode of Trigun Stampede. It really goes to show that some of my favorite parts of Studio Orange's works are their 2D renditions, like the preamble of this episode in Beastars or the ED of Hoseki no Kuni. If you want a Immediate, like within the same day of the episode release make a little tweet you can follow if you want i'll see you guys next week for the first truly non-episodic episode in trigon stampede peace